All right, the Tamarack Ottawa Race Weekend is coming the weekend of May 27th. And of course, we need to keep you safe when you are racing and to keep you safe are the good people from, uh, well, we've got to the ski patrollers here. Skipatrol.ca for more details. With us right now, patrol leader Nick Cartwright. Yes, sir. Nice to see you. And a uh, patroller. We'll find out what the differences are here coming up in moments. Tetsiana uh, Zabalina, how are you? Good, yourself. Good to have you here. Okay, so ski patrol. Uh, obviously, when we're, we're talking about race weekend, people are running. And then I'm talking about ski patrol. That doesn't seem to make sense. Yeah, we, uh, we do a lot of work with the festivals over the summer. We do okay. about 100 different events where we provide the first aid services to the organization. So with the race weekend, we have about 60-some patrollers. Uh, roughly a pair of patrollers on bikes every kilometer and a half of the course, the mm -hmm. full, full marathon. So it's a good way to, for people to feel reassured that there's safety when they're out there. Uh, how long has this organization been around for? Quite some time. We started in 1941, 41. As, uh, in, down in the Toronto area, and okay. then it spread across Canada and we now have about 4,500 okay. patrollers. So, so you're one of the patrol leaders, so you basically are well, in charge, let's say, or you supervise a good amount of people. Yeah, if, and uh, I'd look after the major special events over the summer. Okay, and we've got a patroller. So, Tatiana, what's it, what does it mean to be a patroller? What, what, what's your main duties? So, uh, when we go to events, uh, myself and normally I have teammates with me. We just patrol, we walk around, uh, make sure that uh, people that are injured uh, or people that require medical attention uh, come see us. We make sure that we're available to assist. We're there to assist. Okay, so you've been on this job now for about a, about a year. Yes, that's my first year. Thank okay, you. Okay, so... I'm not going to congratulate you on all your years because <laughs> maybe I don't know if you want to say it. Can't count that. Huh? <laughs> but you've been doing it for quite some time. Yes. Thank you very much. Now, what made you decide to become a patroller, Tatiana? Um, well, I enjoy um, volunteering and I enjoy snowboarding. Mm -hmm. So when I moved here uh, two years ago, I decided that the ski patrol would be something that would allow me to uh, get involved in the community. Okay. And I love that. Okay. So you said the word volunteer. Yes. So ski patrollers uh, are volunteers. That's correct. Okay, so, so Nick, how do we become uh, what you guys do? We run a, we have a course. It's a long course for a first aid course, about 68 hours. About uh, 28 of it is done electronically on your own time, and then there's about 40 hours that we do in classroom. Um, we're just, we run the courses in the spring and in the fall, and mm -hmm. in fact, in a week, we're starting our spring course for mm -hmm. recruits. Okay. So if there's anybody interested, get a hold of us, yeah. and uh, they can join us and have a lot of fun. Where does the training take place? The training, this spring, the training will take place at the uh, Pierre Elliott Trudeau School in uh, just across the river in Gatineau. Okay. Now, is there a cost to train? Uh, yeah. Well, there's this, we have what we call a fixed cost to join the organization, which is about $200. And, but that provides you with access to your jacket, your kit. We stock the kit, and yeah. we give you the training. We give you the manual. So it's a, it's a, it's a fixed cost. It's about a third of the cost of a course of equivalent um, uh, length okay. uh, elsewhere in the in the uh, available elsewhere. So it's a sm small price to pay, not only save lives but look cool in that jacket. <laughs> right? You're yeah, cool. we're very proud of our new red. Jackets <laughs> with the white cross. It's You're a ski patroller. Okay, so I'm reading that there's about 4,500 volunteers across Canada. That's, yep. that's incredible. That's, that means that, that mean you guys are obviously keeping us safe with your eyes and ears open all the time. Yeah, it's, uh, we do it's summer and winter now. Mm -hmm. We do about, we, last year we did about 8,000, 8,500 hours of uh, time wow. outside of the ski business. That seems to be a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. And we had about 220 of our patrollers. In the Ottawa area, we have about 320 patrollers. Okay. So, Tatiana, so you are obviously, it sounds like you're very interested in, you, know, like you said, s snowboarding, I'm assuming skiing, like you're just keeping your eyes, because you're based out of Camp Fortune? Yes, I am. And so now that's the winter months, and then TD Place in the summer months, is yes. that correct? That's correct. We also have other events. We have, uh, last year we did the Army Run, we have the Ottawa Race Weekend coming up. So it's not only TD Place, uh, we do a whole bunch of other venues, Blues Fest, um, a couple of the smaller ones too. So um, yeah, overall it's a great place to be. Yeah, it, it's, and, and I'm sure you probably met a lot of cool people as well along the way. Yes, it yeah. was. <laughs> it's, been, it's definitely been a good year. Yeah, okay. Uh, so Nick, if, if we want to get people signed up, I mean, so you're saying that there's a course coming up very yep. soon. Okay, so do we have plenty of open spots for this course? Well, we're always open to people joining us. It's, uh, you know, because of the demands on our time and we're getting a good reputation for doing the summer. The summer event is, is doubling almost every year now, mm. the, the demand for our services. And this year is a, 
a big year because of 2017. Of course. Uh, and all of the activities in Ottawa particularly. So we're always interested in good people who enjoy uh, helping people and uh, like to be outdoors and do the things that we do. And not only are you, I mean, obviously saving lives, but you're saving the healthcare system a few bucks too. Yeah, we, we, we're very proud of that, that, that uh, by doing the filtering and, and uh, dealing with the people that aren't serious and don't require advanced medical care, uh, no. that we, they then don't get uh, passed on to the paramedics and then subsequently passed on to the hospital. So mm -hmm. by uh, the hospitals have, well, the healthcare system as a whole has enough trouble as it yeah. is keeping up with the, the patient load. And if we can do anything to ma manage that and help within the system, that's uh, wonderful. We have a terrific collaboration with the Ottawa Paramedic Service whenever we're working in conjunction with them, and it works very, very effectively for us. Yeah. Uh, that, no, that's wonderful. And Tatiana, obviously, you get to watch some Red Blacks games for free, right? <laughs> yeah. That is, is one is of that, the perks. One of the perks, for sure. I mean, you've got to have perks, right? Absolutely. <laughs> thank you very much. More details. We go to skipatrol.ca to get signed up. Thank you. And thank awesome. you Appreciate for it. saving lives. Awesome. Exceptional. Thank you very much uh, to Nick and Tatiana with the ski patrol.ca is the website. Uh, let's see. This is going to be a lot of fun. The Ottawa Wood Carving Competition is coming and some uh, unbelievable creations. We'll see them next on Daytime.